everyone. I'm filling in for um, Sanson Nguimui, I'm probably not pronouncing his name right, um, who's the hot data coordinator. Uh, he could not, he didn't get his visa, so he wasn't able to attend. I'm giving this talk on his behalf about um, improving OSM data quality at the humanitarian OpenStreetMap team. So we recently did a um, drafted a data strategy. So I'm just gonna kind of walk through the, what that process looked like and some of the things that we identified. So why do we care about data? Um, you know, everyone here I'm sure knows what the humanitarian OpenStreetMap does and reliable data is really important. But as you can see here from this quote, the quality of data in OpenStreetMap is highly contextual and therefore different uses of OpenStreetMap data require different metrics and depending on the context, right? And how it's gonna be used. So it might be good enough just to have road lines, right? If you're responding to a disaster, you might not need all the surface types on there and the road lines are sufficient. Or it might be good just to know there's like a cluster of buildings up in the mountain somewhere, but it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to have every single building mapped, right? It just depends on how that data is being used. Um, Regardless, we're trying to build out the, the uh, best quality data possible. Um, so we started talking, we did some workshops and kind of came up with these like different themes, right? We need to create data that's fit for purpose. We, you know, HOT can't do this alone. Got to engage the community. They're very important. They're the ones who are creating the, the data. Um, re really refine some of the open mapping tools. I'm sure there's been lots of talks today about, you know, the tasking manager, which is this great, like crowdsourcing tool for, for adding data to the OpenStreetMap. And there's a lot of people talking about stacking on different types of quality tools and building in, like looking at different metrics and things through Task Manager, which is awesome. And then, you know, always just being open for communication and feedback with the community. Um, so yeah, this, uh, this is a shot from Florence last year. It's kind of when we started that process in the fall, um, did some workshops, took out the sticky notes, got a bunch of ideas from community members, we interviewed people at all the different teams within HOT, um, interviewed people from the community, and then we also ran a lot of this through the data quality working iteratively throughout the process just to get feedback from them. Um, so this is just sort of, a, we came up with these, these four core objectives for each one of the teams at HOT. So for, if you're not familiar with how the organization is structured, there's a data team, right? And they're responsible for sort of like overseeing all the data quality at POT. Um, so they pr provide and guide the approach to creating data and some of that like supporting documentation. There's the technology team. They build the technology and maintain the technology that is used to create data, right? So there's little things that they can do um, with the technology just to make, make it so you can't create bad data, right? They wanna make it as easy as possible to create high quality data. The community team, um, at HOT, they're responsible for sort of like reaching out and working with the community and they'll get involved with OSMF data or data working group and things like that. So they're just making sure that their tools are um, used by the community and gathering feedback and, and uh, making necessary changes. And then there's the regional open mapping hub. So there's four open mapping hubs located in, let's see, Asia Pacific, uh, Eastern Africa, Western Africa, and Latin America and Caribbean. <laughs> um, so what they're doing is they're like more focused on, you know, like uh, creating map data that's like regionally specific to those areas, right? So you just have one comprehensive data quality strategy. It's not necessarily going to be applicable across all of the organization. So those teams are actually taking like the draft data quality Report and you know modifying and tailoring it to their specific needs. So there's a lot of words on the next next couple of slides, and I just kind of want to walk through these so you can see like the specific things that each team is doing to um, to improve data quality in OpenStreetMap. So uh, they're identifying like the core use cases of data. This is the data team, right? Like how's it going to be used. What are the stags, tags we should be using? Trying to standardize that to some degree. Um, they're building out, you know, quality procedures and quality checks and processes that people can can you know take and be like, all right, this is how, what, how we're going to approach data quality, right? With like a, a validation process. 
I'm sorry, these, these goals, I guess the slide got a little messed up. Um, <laughs> we have two goal twos and su support hubs, we're done, okay, all right. Anyway, technology team goals. And at the end of this all, there will be a data quality strategy open for public comment, hopefully sometime in the next month or so. And it'd be great to get feedback from y'all. Thank you. Thank you.